You know, I don't think that I've ever taken a look at anything from Huawei, and I don't think that I've ever taken a look at a router for review either, yet here we are. This is the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3, a dual-core router from Huawei, and as I know, this is a China-only product. As you can tell on the box, it's even all in Chinese. Yeah, the back is in Chinese. <laughs> I say this because there is another variant called the AX3 Pro, sometimes called the AX3 Quad Core, and that one comes with, you guessed it, a quad core and is made for the international market. Heck, it's even sold here in Malaysia. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how much they differ. Before we move on though, a uh, quick disclaimer, this router was sent to me by Banggood for review, but I'm not going to say nice things about it just because of that, because I believe in honest representation to help you, the viewer, make the most informed decision. With that out of the way, let's get into the review of the Huawei AX3 Dual Core. The AX3 comes pretty bare bones with only a power brick and a manual accompanying it and the router itself has 4 antennas and a really nice and modern and simplistic looking design with really solid and sturdy plastics. I like it. There's only one indicator LED here up on the front and on the back we have 4 gigabit ethernet ports and fun fact, any one of these ports can be set as the WAN port or you can manually configure it so that the first ethernet port is the WAN port. There are several other features here like the H button here that you can use for one key pairing and is WPS compatible. Getting the router set up, unfortunately because this isn't an international model, the firmware only comes in Chinese with no option for English, so that's really something that you'll have to keep in mind if you decide to get one. For the most part, to set up the router, I had to have my phone handy right beside me with Google Translate camera as I set it up as a repeater. Now you might be wondering as to why I'm not setting this router up as my main router then testing it out and the answer to that is really simple. You see, if your ISP needs VLAN tagging to get the internet working like how it is here for Unify in Malaysia, then you're going to have to look elsewhere because this router does not come with VLAN tagging. In fact, you don't really have to look very far because the international variant of this router, the AX3 Pro with the quad-core processor and English comes with this feature and possibly more that I don't know about. So yeah, that's quite strange because it means that I cannot test this router as I would normally. The other big issue with this China model was that I was unable to use Huawei's app of the uh, Play Store to set the router up. So that's another point to the international model. The router itself is also pretty basic in terms of actual customization, so if you're someone who does like to tinker with your routers, then you might want to look elsewhere because chances are that you're not going to be able to set up any custom firmwares on the AX3 either. Now, since I couldn't set this router up as my main router in my house to test it out, I could only test it as a wireless repeater, and the results, <laughs> honestly, were a bit of a mixed bag, but not at all in a way that I expected. You know, I know that I'm going to sound like a shill working for the Chinese government by saying this, but the router was actually too good that it was causing me issues. Let me elaborate. I have a main router upstairs in my room and a secondary router downstairs near the kitchen uh, because the signal isn't strong enough and I need a repeater, right? Now, the repeated signal was obviously not as fast as the main signal because, well, it's a repeated signal, but the strength of that signal that it was broadcasting was really strong and it went through all the walls and ceilings without issue. Now, Bear in mind that my main router is no slouch, it is the Netgear Nighthawk X4S R7800 and that router, you know, is one of the best uh, AC routers at the time. But what was happening was even though I was a few meters away from my main router, my devices would prefer the Wi-Fi coming from the AX3 that was downstairs because of just how strong the signal was even after passing through multiple walls and floors. That is super good, of course, for this router, but it also meant that I had trouble, you know, getting the proper internet relay speeds because my, my, my devices would prefer the router that is further away from it than the one that is closest to it. So I was getting slower speeds. <laughs> so let me summarize it to this then. 
The Huawei AX3 is a great router for simple users, but if you ask me, I'd say spend a little bit more and get the international model, the AX3 Pro with the quad-core Gigahome instead. It comes with English and it comes with more features, so if it performs anything like the AX3 that I have here, or maybe even better, then I can wholeheartedly recommend it. Anyway, that's the end of the review. If you'd like to get one for yourself, uh, then well, I've got a link for Banggood that you can check in the description below. After all, they sent me this router to check out. So yeah, do the usual YouTube thing of uh, liking this video if you liked it, dropping any comments down below. And uh, well, if you're not already subscribed, well, subscribe to me and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new videos as soon as they come out. My name is Yang Di Tech Roden Ten. I'll see you guys in the next review.